What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here again, y'all. Excited to bring y'all yet another Madden tip, uh, Madden 19 tip video. And what I'm gonna do today is teach you how to kind of look at the defense and what they're doing to determine what would be the best route based off of your play selection. Now, the game does have a skills trainer and it does teach you how to read coverages, cover two, man to man, and things like that. But I know a lot of people don't do that and a lot of people don't really understand football concepts. And so I'll just kind of keep it simple. So what I'm gonna do is just do random plays for the offense and random plays for the defense, okay? Got the Kansas City Chiefs here against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And my play call right now is a pass play, okay? And it looks like they're in a man coverage. Uh, if we look inside the box, and what the box means is just where the offensive linemen and defensive linemen are. Uh, they've got four, five, six guys in the box, okay? So if you want to test and see if they're in man, just put a man in motion. If he goes with them, then you know they're in man. If he stays with them, I mean, if he doesn't stay with him, then they're in a zone coverage. Okay. See, he never moved back over. Rather, the linebacker just shifted. So, let's try moving a wide receiver. Okay. So, I don't know if that's just a bug in the game or what. Nope. He stays with him the whole time. So, I know that the corners are in a man-to-man -man coverage. Thomas goes in motion. That linebacker goes with him. Now, he drifts pretty slow. Okay. So we'll just go back to the regular formation. So we know that they're in a man-to-man -man coverage here. So that safety up top is more than likely in a zone coverage or he may be manned up on the running back. Okay, so since they're in the man-to-man -man coverage and we got the four guys in the box, you can still pass the ball here and look for a one-on-one, -on -one, look for a mismatch. To do that, hold R2 and then go move the right stick down to ratings. Um or not to ratings, you can move it to your wide receiver. So that's my tight end right there. Uh, there is no mismatch there. His speed is a negative four, so he's actually slower. He has a mismatch in height and release, okay? Um, on the outside, I have an advantage. Uh, plus two to speed, plus one to height, plus nine to route running, and plus 10 to release. So that's a mismatch, okay? For my running back, there's no mismatch there. Uh, my slot wide receiver, there's a speed mismatch on the linebacker as well as a route running, so that can be considered a mismatch. He's shorter, but he has the speed advantage as well as the route running advantage, not the release advantage, though. And then on the outside, I have a, uh, another mismatch. The reason why I say that that's a mismatch is because his speed is higher, okay? And that should be who is Tyreek Hill, but if, if he gets in the open field, he can create some, some plays. Now, his release is low. However, that's not an issue because that cornerback is not pressing, okay? He's not pressing him. And then you see your run blocking. That's all listed in the red, so that's not very good. Um, Rating-wise, you can see everybody's ratings as well and fatigue levels. But it's interesting here because you can kind of see that they are indeed manned up. Uh, it's showing that their coverage, they're one-on-one -on -one with the guy in front of them, okay? So if I wanted to pass the ball, I could. Now, what I want to do here is since Tyreek Hill has a speed advantage, I'm going to put Thomas on a fade route. That's going to run him out of the play. Then I'm going to put Tyreek Hill to run a slant. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to take that safety. It's going to have to take either uh, my tight end or he's going to have to take heel. Now, those linebackers are more than likely probably dropping back um, in some kind of coverage. They may be on a blitz. They may be in man coverage, but we'll see at the snap of the ball. So now my primary uh, my primary is, is Tyreek Hill. Okay, so we're going to... Um, we're going to keep him on that route right there. We're going to keep him on that route. I was trying to change him to my to my primary, but it doesn't look like they're going to let me do that. Okay. All right, and that's fine. So we'll leave it like that, and Hill should be open across the middle. Drop back. I got the protection I need. Bam, right there. Patrick Mahomes was just horrible in his accuracy right there. But perfect play. I told you exactly what would happen based off of what the defense was running, and that's exactly what happened. So it doesn't always get that lucky, but a lot of times it does. Okay, so um, sorry, y'all. That's my phone. I don't know who that is calling me, but we're going to ignore that because Kingston Survey County, Jamaica. somebody from Jamaica. Are you serious? Okay, so anyway, um, we're looking at the play right here, and – same thing happens. Remember, I put him to run deep to hold the safety. 
and I put him to run the slant because he's playing off for of him and he has a speed advantage. So let's see the snap of the ball. Exactly what happens is that safety plays. Those linebackers, they drop into a zone. If you're looking at the linebackers, they definitely drop back into a zone. But, I mean, one of them is manned up on the running back right here, and the other one is just playing a zone. Okay, and because he gets out of position, that leaves Tyreek Hill wide open. Now, if this linebacker had to just sat there, then that play probably wouldn't have happened, but he didn't. See, he, he drifted. Why he drifted, I'm not sure. Um, Because the quarterback is still in the middle of the field. If I'm that linebacker, I'm sitting down because that left it wide open. Now, I threw it to circle, which is Tyreek Hill's route. But Mahomes, I don't know where his accuracy was at. But he, he man, he threw that to the wrong person. It looks like he was trying to throw deep. But it was supposed to go to Tyreek Hill, which it still did because he was in position. But like I said, that play was perfect. Uh, audible in it, changing it, seeing what the defense is doing. And that's just that's just football logic, man. That's just football logic one on one. That's a good play. Not a very good ball, but a good play. OK. All right. Next play. It's another pass play here. It doesn't look like they're in. Um, doesn't look like they're in man to man coverage. We're going to motion the slot to see if they're in man. OK, they're not in a man coverage unless it checks and that receiver goes uh, the linebacker bumps. So. See, that right there is not good. That's not good at all. Um, I don't know what why that linebacker drifted with him over there. So, the linebackers... Look at that. That is... Wow, I guess we, we're seeing a live mess up here. The defense is completely oblivious to what's going on. So, we're going to put him on a fade route. Okay, Tyreek Hill, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I want to put him on another slant route because it looks like these linebackers know what they're doing. Play action. Right there. Okay, so that wasn't in a man coverage. They was definitely in a zone. And what they were doing was following the uh my offensive my 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 receiver here. And that just got them all out of position. And that's why I said I'm gonna put him on a fade route because it, I just had that one-on-one -on -one action. I knew the route that my wide receiver here was running. And at the snap of the ball, look at that. The safety drifted to the outside, too far to the outside. That's what you need to look for right there. That safety drifting right there, you want to put that ball on the inside here because that safety never even came to this side of the field. Now, this is where Madden has some issues with me as far as awareness of what's going on on the field. If I'm this safety... I'm not going to keep dropping back right there. There is nobody in this area. Same way for the corner. This cornerback should have squeezed the field. Both of these guys should have squeezed the inside of the field here. And with that, that that's just field awareness because there are no routes coming to this side of the field. So why are you still there? This linebacker can take care of the quarterback if he decides to roll out. But there is no reason for this cornerback to be sitting here. Because as long as that took, the running back isn't coming into the flats. And I know that's what he's watching. But this guy here probably should have ran with number 10, passed him off to there. That was a semi-decent job of passing him off, even though he didn't do it. But the cornerback right here is oblivious to what's going on. The safety is, too. It's just not playing very well. Now, what I will probably, what you could do to correct this is go into your settings and under the AI, you could turn up the computer's uh, defensive awareness in a sense. And this could correct that because that right there, there is no excuse for that. That safety should have been on top of that. They should have squeezed. He, this safety should have been playing from this hash to this hash, and he would have been there to make that play. But because he wasn't, perfect ball this time by Patrick Mahomes for the touchdown. Okay, next play. It's a run play. Remember what I told you all the other day? The red square means that you're at a disadvantage personnel-wise to that side of the field. Doesn't mean that you still can't run it, but if you're looking inside of that box, the center is the halfway point. You actually have three guys on the left side, the three linemen, and then the up back. And then, but for the defense, you have uh, four guys inside of that red box. On the right side, you have a three and three matchup. So you have the advantage running to that side of the field there. So what we're going to do, but one thing you also have to look at in a play like this is this play is going to the inside. Okay. If you can get this up back, uh, if you can get the up back, Harris, 
let's say we motioned him out okay that's going to take care of an outside guy and you have the potential to bounce that play okay that you, either way it go right now it's even but if you look at the lineman here that linebacker he's coming on a blitz so it's a good chance that this play can still be a positive game running to the 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 way that it's intended to run now if we check it to the other side you see his blocking changes to where he blocks inside and him and sherman basically do a cross uh blocking pattern but um what we want to do if we're doing to that side we want to bring him up a little bit that's going to help him get through that line quicker otherwise him and harris run the risk of running into each other okay so let's see this play okay decent run not bad uh definitely slow developing he had a lane but he just didn't have the acceleration to get through the hole in time so remember we moved the up back here uh, that way, the because they were doing a crossing pattern as far as blocking because of the way that the play was set up with me checking to the other side. So at the snap of the ball, he, he stalls and then he goes inside. Okay. It does a good job because he actually did pick up that linebacker, even though it really wasn't that necessary um, to pick him up right here. He should have gone to the next level. But it's a good thing that he did because if he didn't, that play would have been blown up in the backfield. Now, what this guy is doing on defense, I don't know because he had a clean shot, but I guess he got tangled up in everything that was going on, okay? So it was a good job switching it. Um, my other up back did a good job of pulling, and that's where I tried to follow him through the hole. And right here, I seen that hole, and y'all see that I see it because you see him start to break down. Akeem Hunt start to break down right here but trying to cut it up it, it just no doing Gerald McCoy uh did a good job of finally getting off of that block and getting onto the play now you say why didn't you keep running to the outside that's evident right there he would have gotten tackled if Gerald McCoy was a little bit slower getting to that ball cut it up into that hole and that's a big gain that's still a positive gain though we can't be upset with um with a play like that okay but like I said, this stuff is just teaching you how to read the defense and what they're doing. Okay, another play. This time I'm going to go to the strength. I'm going to go to the, the weak side. Okay, see, I can't do it. Why? Because Harris is um, supposed to go in motion before the snap of the ball. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to check it to a power O. Same formation. This time we're going to that side of the field. But see, now that becomes the strength because I have 75 that's going to be pulling as a guard. Okay. Okay, not a bad play. Positive yards. Okay, so let's look at that in instant replay. So remember, we checked it because the attention, initial play was going to have the tight end going in motion. We're going to run to the string, but I wanted to run it towards the other side. But in changing the play, it actually put the left side in the advantage because number 75, the guard, is going to pull, which he does here, and they do a good job. Now, right here... I'm not the type of person you have to get away from running sideline to sideline because if I'm looking at this play right here when he picks him up I'm gonna say they're gonna say wow DM you could have ran straight to the sideline why didn't you do that got to the outside the next level because I see number 76 pulling and I see a hole that I can cut up and at least get a yard and it's a good thing I did that because 42 didn't hold his block and look at that now what I don't understand is this pulling guard right here should have kept going up into the hole instead of chipping off but still hunt picks it up and he still gains some positive yards on the play but the guard uh the guard should have definitely um he shouldn't have peeled off i understand why he did it and it does make sense but i would have if i was him i would have just kept going into the into the hole He's looking, he's looking. He should have just came up into the hole because if I follow him through there, that's a potential for a big game, okay? That's just offensive awareness on, on the play. Okay, next play. Uh, we got another pass play. Um, of course, Tyree Kill is the main key. His release isn't that good. The, the corners are playing a little bit tighter. Um, now, Thomas is running a, a deep post. So if that can hold the safety, I could have a one-on-one -on -one with Tyree Kill. The height advantage is a zero, so that means he's the same height as the corner. Now we go to the other side, and that's a complete mismatch right there. So what I want to do 
is I'm going to motion Thomas over. Or actually, I tell you what, let's flip the play. Let's flip the play. Because if I was if I motion Thomas over, he was going to run a deep corner route. I want him to run that safety off. OK, because if he can run that safety off, I'm going to have a one on one with Watkins on the outside. OK, because I like that mismatch a little bit better because he has a plus three height advantage. So if I throw it up, he has a good chance to get that jump ball. OK, and his route running is a plus three as opposed to Tyreek Hill with a uh, plus nine to speed. OK, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to check Tyreek Hill to run a slant. That's going to be my check down. He's running that deep slant route. That's going to be my check down. OK, so I'm looking for Watkins first. But if Watkins didn't open, Tyreek Hill should come open at some point in time. Play action. That's a good ball, man. He just has to catch that. He just has to hold on to that ball. Okay, so instant replay is going to show you uh, that that play worked to perfection. Uh, the only reason it didn't work as far as Watkins being open was, look, right there, he gets held up right there. I do not want to throw that ball. See, because by him getting held up, the safety actually drifts because this guy, the linebacker or the, the yeah, it's a linebacker or the nickelback is man on man on my slot receiver. I wasn't planning for that. If they were in a zone, this play would have been a lot different. But see, that's a good reason why I had Tariq Hill on the backside running that slant. Because look at that. If I had it did a one on one, that safety drifted. But. And it could have been, but I don't think that play would have worked out because that corner's just running the zone. He's not even in man. Linebacker's in zone, so I know if I got protection in the zone coverage, somebody's going to come open eventually, and that's exactly what happened. Now, I know you see Watkins open right now, but the ball is already out of Patrick's hands. Right here, plus pressure was coming. I could have tried to string it in there, didn't want to, because that safety could have easily broke on that ball. I got Tyreek Hill coming across the middle. Perfect ball, hit him dead in his hands, right through the window. He just dropped it. Okay. See, okay, perfect. Right here. This is this is a good play. So the safety is coming down, so I know he's gonna be blitzing. Okay. So that means that other safety is gonna be one on one. Right now, I'm running a screenplay, which probably isn't a bad play to run because of the blitz. Okay, so I'm gonna let this play out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this play play out. Because if Tyreek Hill can pick up the corner, then Watkins gets his block. The safety is blitzing. If that linebacker is manned up on Williams, then Thomas should be open for a decent game. Let's see. Play action. Throw it. He didn't throw it. Bad play. It was picked off. That play wasn't... Um, so you're going to have some bad plays in there. That was just speculation right there. At the snap of the ball... The safety didn't blitz. The safety sat down, but then he immediately goes to heel, goes to my running back, and makes a makes a great play. I mean, that, you can't you can't ask for better than that. That's just straight balling. Now, why Tyree Kill just sat there, I have no clue, because I uploaded a video to Twitter where uh, Michael Crabtree was fully aware of his surroundings, and he didn't just sit there like this. And neither should Hill. Hill should have went and picked up that safety. He should have went and picked up that safety, and that would have been a big game, but he didn't do that. Um, also, I tried to throw the ball before he got to that point, but it, the, the game wouldn't let me for some reason. Needless to say, it was an interception. Great play by the defense. Bad play by Tyreek Hill. Um, and I'm wondering, does their awareness have to do with stuff like that? Okay, let's run another play. Okay, pass play here. They're uh they're bunched in on the right side because I got a trips bunch set. It's a quad set. It's four wide receivers, but they're in a bunch tight. Looks like that linebacker is blitzing. So I'm gonna send Tyree Kill on the slant route again because if he can get to those linebackers, he's gonna make some money. I'm gonna put Watkins on a fade route or a streak straight down the field. Now what's gonna happen is if they're in a zone, if that safety drops on the left side of the field. And that corner goes with Watkins. If that linebacker is in a zone, if I get enough protection, Hill should be wide stinking open for a big play. I'm going to put the tight end on a fade route. That's going to hold the backside safety and could potentially hold the play side safety as well. Okay, so let's see. Let's 
Simple play right there, just to pick up. You got to take what the defense is giving y'all. You see what I'm saying? I knew that I didn't have enough time to clear that linebacker. I didn't want to wait because that linebacker, he did a good job of staying in, in place. The fade route wasn't open. Right here, I had this route open for a really big game. But by that time, I had already decided to get, get rid of that football. But, man, that was a perfect – that was perfect. Why? Because uh, the tight end runs the safety off, if I can get on him. He did a good job of holding the safety. He did a good job of holding the corner. And then with Tyree Kill right here, took the linebacker out the picture right there, wide open, man. I should have – oh, man, that was awesome. But we still got a, a good game if he didn't drop the ball. Did he drop the ball? Yeah, he dropped the ball. But that's still a good game. But it could have been a bigger game. But that play worked because that linebacker drifted. Bam, hit it quick. Because looking back here, I, I, didn't, I didn't really have that much pressure, man. He's standing in the pocket making big plays. Okay. Let's do one more play, and we'll call it a day. Okay, this is a run play, and it's designed to go to the strength uh, in the green box. But look to the left side of the field. We got Watkins and Hill stacked, but they have those guys cheated out. So if this, if I could get to the next level, this could be a pretty decent run here. But let's 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 widen Watkins out. That's gonna see what they did. The safety moves over. It shifts them a little bit. Okay, but it's going to open up the door if I'm able to bounce it, okay? Bad play call. That was just a bad decision by me. I had a hole that I could have ran through, but I didn't run through it, and that was the end result there. See, I should have just kept it straight up and cut behind the block, and I would at least got some positive yards as opposed to getting back to the line of scrimmage. Can't end practice on a bad note, though. Let's end on a good note. See, okay, good play here. Uh, it's meant to go to the bad side, but we're going to flip it. And let's gonna go to the good side. Now, that changes what the tight end is doing. The reason why is because if the tight end, if I'm going to the bad side of the field, you know, chances are I will stick to this play because with real player motion, you're able to control the running back. So what's going to happen is um, – What's going to happen is I could probably just follow in behind them. Okay, let's see. Nope, didn't have to. Play worked out perfectly. Okay, perfect play. Didn't get a touchdown, but it's a good play. Okay, so right here, the tight end does pull and he picks up that backside pursuit, which was perfect. That was perfect. Because had he didn't, he would have got tackled in the backfield. Tyreek, uh, I mean, Akeem Hunt sees the lane, runs through it right there, got in the way of his lineman, but still got a positive game. So I hope that this little tip video right here has helped somebody out. Um, Y'all know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Trying to make it fun. Trying to make it simple. Be creative and have fun with it. Till next time, thanks for watching and God bless.